All right, guys. Today we're going to talk about Bisless runes and talents and a couple of tips and tricks. Nothing crazy. So it's a lot. Buckle in. I just, I kind of scrapped it together real quick, but I did put a lot of thought into it. That's why there's multiple sets, multiple talents and builds. So I'm going to explain everything and I want to cover professions too. Here is three set, three set PVP tier and raid tier. Personally, I think something like this will probably be the best route. You got three set PVP, three set uh, from the raid. I went to Deep Woodlands Cloak for the stamina, but it was basically a trade off of one stamina for three intellect and one damage. Um, I think this staff is pretty sick if you're going to run the, the raid tier because it has a ton of crit on it. Obviously, NG is going to be your best profession, hands down. Um, there's a lot of good trinkets to pick up just to cover this. Trinkets are just a collection game. Always can swap them in and whatnot. So you're going to want to get your hands on pretty much any trinket. I don't know if you can get Timber Mall trinket yet. I would like to get that. I don't think you can get this. But yeah, all the pets... I think Torment is probably the best one. Six Demon Bag is really good. A couple of things before we get to the next set. I just want to mention a riding set to catch people and stuff would probably be really good to have. So putting a riding skill on your gloves and putting little spurs on your boots and using a carrot on a stick if you really want to go over the top you can pretty much catch anybody running away from you. So. Just want to throw that out there. Another thing I want to throw out there, because you can pretty much get three gloves, one with riding, one with 40 armor, and one with 1% 1 minor haste, which is only your auto attacks, but you get to get natural weapons. And with that, you get 10% increased damage there. Natural weapons on talents, 1% haste on the glove, and fire weapon enchant, you can get some nice uh, melee tech in there, especially with torment guard because it procs off your spells and your physical damage. So, super good. So that's the three set, three set. Here is, um, this would be your full rank seven. If you're, if you're not really looking to raid too much, this is pretty minimal raiding. I do kind of think, like, it's it's tough to make a Bisselis' phase because there's so many good pieces of gear, right? I think one hand with the offhand is, is really good too. And I think this staff is good. And I also think the other staff is good. But we'll get we'll cover the other staff in a second here. This is pretty similar. All these sets have 3% hit. So some of these sets I have on like this belt. But then this set you will be over hit. So you run the A, B belt. And then other than that, it's uh, basically the same thing here. And also I want to cover rings real quick. The... The last boss ring is it's tough because you either go big damn ring with no stamina, which is kind of like PVE or like a glass cannon build, or you go with the big 60 armor, 16 stamina. The only problem with this ring is it has hit on it and you don't really need that hit. But technically, now that I think about it, you could go like this and go like that and then swap this. Yeah, I'm not sure. This could actually be better. Pretty sure. This this could honestly be like the best set right here. But on to... So then we have a, a pure stamp set, which goes with the, the stamp ring, this belt, blood rock cloak for the extra stamina, and then we go at three emerald, three blood guard, and then nightmares focus staff because it's extra stamina. This would be pure stamina, max stam. Could be really good, could be kind of meme, I'm not sure. Something to consider. The thing about, you can't really just make a Bisselis. It's impossible. There's so much good gear, like I said, and you just kind of have to mix and match and figure out what works best for your scenario and what you're trying to accomplish, right? Here's the, the big meme glass cannon set. I just kind of threw it together. If you don't have leather working, you would just pick like probably blood guard this is uh 
the big juicy last cannon build. 268 spell power. That is just max damage. Completely max. So the next thing I want to talk about, professions. Engineering is a must. And then it's between leatherworking and enchanting. Technically, enchanting would be your best bet. Because none of these sets, you don't use the shoulders. Only the glass cannon say use the shoulders in PvE. I'd say leatherworking is fine to go. Unless you want to super min max, drop it, go enchanting. Because there's a good chance that enchanting won't be best next phase. But there's also a decent chance it could be. It just depends how they make the leatherworking or tailor gear. So the only reason leatherworking isn't good for PvP is because it has no stamina on it. So in a realistic uh in a realistic scenario, it's just not that good. <clears throat> and the equipped effect doesn't work outside of the raid. So technically enchanting engineering is the best, but you could stay leatherworking engineering in hopes that it's this next phase and you know it's not that big of a deal to min max that hard right but 50 damage from enchanting is insane um next is the talents this is kind of the same deal there's like four sets i got like four talent builds so this is the one i've been running on stream this is the exact build right here these are the runes i've been running on stream um I will say survival of the fittest is always worth considering. It just depends what you're doing. Open world PvP, I like Fury of Storm Rage. Certain dual matchups, I would probably run survival of the fittest 100%, like a rogue, for example. Um, <clears throat> whenever it's not the mana game, you would run survival of the fittest. Everything else is always the same. Um, this build... So, so the reason... Okay, before we get into the next builds, I want to cover a talent trick. So, with your dual spec, you can do improved Mark of the Wild, buff yourself with it, and then swap your spec, and you keep improved Mark of the Wild. It doesn't work with Thorns. I've already tried. I've already told you guys about the riding set. I told you about the melee tech. The only other thing I wanted to cover was Omen has a bug. I'm pretty sure it's a bug, where if you get a Fury of Storm Rage proc, and you use a healing touch of any rank, rank one would be the most efficient if you're like full health, you get a free Omen of Clarity proc. And then you can like wild regrowth because or wild growth because that's like the most mana efficient or most mana costing spell, right? Or you could or you could regrowth too. Would wouldn't be bad either. Another thing that I also wanted to mention, I don't know if you guys know this, but improved box skin gives it to your person you put it on, and it gives it to yourself. So if you ever if you ever grouped up with somebody, if you want to put it on yourself, you might as well put it on somebody else. But those are all the tips and tricks. We're gonna go to the other talent builds. So. Here would be no natural weapons, no omen build. You could always put five points in improved mark if you don't want to do the trick and get rid of this and this. But if you're going to do the trick, you would, I think improve the trick's grasp is, if you want to get a root instantly, this is the best build to go right here. This, this build I might swap to because omen's kind of a meme. So this build's really good. You could also take two points out of here and put two into here. It's not bad. But it, the last five to six points are like floater points. Like they're not, they're really not that big of a deal. That's why there's so many builds here. Um, this is the omen build. Instead of two here, it's two here. This is kind of personal preference. I might swap to this if I run omen because 30% for your spells compared to 9% for your, these spells. It, it's, it's hard to say which one's best. And then, yeah, this is just nothing. So, yeah, boys, that's my opinion on pre uh, professions, my opinion on talents, and you know, you, you you pick you pick and choose with my information. I guess I don't really have a define run this every single time for PvP for talents, run this every single time for gear. It's just the game never worked like that. Sometimes it doesn't like retail, but in Classic WoW, there are so many items. It's just never going to be that way. Depends if I'm in a tournament, if I'm dueling a certain class, if I'm doing BGs for fun, if I'm raiding, if I'm doing open world, my gear is always looking different. I'm always switching it up. So, <clears throat> um, and a couple, another thing I just thought about, Med Pouch, you definitely want. Uh, Defender of Timberwall, I don't know if you can get this, but I want that. 
But yeah, collect all the weapons, collect all the trinkets, get as much as you can. They're all really good. Uh, there's there's no there's no good way to put it. You know what I mean? Unfortunately, I can't just look at one weapon or one set of rings or one set of trinkets and be like, run these two items. It's it's it's, it's impossible. They they're all they're all really good and they're all very equal. So whatever you can really get your hands on is your best bet. You know what I mean? You get you get one thing, you try to get the other ones. I wouldn't pass on loot just because you have one thing. And I don't play like that, but some people do. It is considerate, but yeah. That's pretty much everything. Runes, talents, professions, gear. Good luck out there, boys.